that was almost like a mind blowing moment for me because for so long, and maybe you're watching this video and thinking about that too, for so long, we really see these people almost as, you know, the RSD instructors, almost like superheroes. And to see the humanity of a superhero, basically saying that, okay, well, actually, I act I might know people who are more charismatic in field than he is or better with women than he is. That was a crazy thought because for so long, it, it's like an earth shattering moment because you have this belief that this guy is the best. Um, I don't mean to say that, you know, he's, he's not charismatic. He certainly is. And I would say he's actually a better speaker than he is in terms of his actual game and field. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to make a video touching on some comments from an ex RSD intern, okay, who was a video editor for RSD. And this poor soul had the <laughs> horrible privilege of having to sift through RSD Tyler, okay, Owen Cook, sift through his fucking garbage infield, okay? In this video, I'll roll some clips. It was funny because a lot of times when you see the videos that we that are put on YouTube, it is really like a highlight reel. And as an editor, you get to see everything behind the scenes and the entire night from beginning to end. It's like four hours of footage or six hours of footage. It's a lot of footage. And you get to see, okay, this guy is actually just a regular guy who works really hard and just shows up a lot, right? There's nothing special about his quote unquote game right there's nothing special about his quote unquote game in this video the guy is saying i had an earth shattering moment watching these you know four to six hour uh sessions of basically just rsd tyler getting wrecked in the club and, and not having any fucking game and then having to try to pick out what what is you know trying to make a highlight reel so he doesn't look like a fucking total loser but he said it was like a um, kind of an earth-shattering moment in, in his terms about how, uh, you know, you hold this guy in such a high regard because he advertised himself, RSD Tyler, that is, as being like the top dog in the game, okay? That was almost like a mind-blowing moment for me because for so long, and maybe you're watching this video and thinking about that too, for so long we really see these people almost as... You know, the RSD instructor is almost like superheroes. And to see the humanity of a superhero basically saying that, okay, well, actually, I, act I might know people who are more charismatic in field than he is or better with women than he is. That was a crazy thought because for so long, it it's like an earth shattering moment because you have this belief that this guy is the best. Um, I don't mean to say that, you know, he's he's not charismatic. He certainly is. And I would say he's actually a better speaker than he is in terms of his actual game and field. I had the exact same experience in 2012. It was earth shattering for me as well. He promotes himself as being like the ultimate, you know, guy that's so good at pickup and so good at game. I saw him get absolutely demolished in the club nonstop. Okay, the, I, I, I was fascinated by this. Okay, I was, I was following him around in the club, and girls often thought, after he would get blown out constantly, I would talk to the girls after, collecting feedback. Okay, first of all, his game was atrocious. It's one of the worst I've ever seen, but, which is ironic, okay? As the video editor here in, in those video clips is stating, you would think the guy that's been going out a decade would have some sense of game, okay? But, but it's fucking garbage. I know he says this in his free tour talk sometimes, where he would talk about how if you watched my videos, you'd probably think, or if you saw me in person, you'd probably think, I can't believe this guy has been going out for over a decade. But the point is, I was collecting feedback from these girls, and the, the most common reactions were they thought he was awkward, creepy, gay, weird, you know, cringeworthy. Okay, they thought he was ugly, you know, and he, what he does, and this video editor acknowledges it, and we'll, we'll show these different clips, um, he uses charisma, okay, to 
uh, basically compensate for his lack of game. Not to say that the charisma makes his game complete, not far from it. It's like an earth-shattering moment because you have this belief that this guy is the best. Um, I don't mean to say that you know he's he's not charismatic. He certainly is, and I would say he's actually a better speaker than he is in terms of his actual game and field. Okay. Instead, you have a stupid, charismatic cult figurehead, okay, leading a group of impressionable young men, and convincing them through this mass delusion that he is some like game hero and some god. Okay. Whatever thoughts that you're having right now, I'm in your fucking head. Ah! 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 Then I go up in the front and I'm like doing all this shit. I'm like, oh, again, like, oh, shit. And like Luke's laughing. I'm just like, oh, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, you know, like doing these moves. Everyone's like, oh, shit. Like, you know, here, let's, let's take a look. RSD came into play, which I think is basically a cult. You instructed for them. Uh, yeah, I mentioned to you I, I was an instructor assistant for them in 2012. I, I fully agree they're a cult. I'm going to do a whole video about that. Yeah, they're a cult with a charismatic figure, and they're convincing these guys that they can go from chode to stud if they just allow themselves to be pushed and follow the party line, whereas I encourage and cajole and plead and bully even my students into thinking for themselves. I want independent thinkers who don't just parrot what I teach, but who actually understand it. And what's funny is that this video editor, literally, like he's trying to be, I, and I, I know this dude, like through the community or whatever, roughly, um, and he's just trying to be like very, very polite and like sugarcoat the whole thing, but but he, he put out some zingers there even, and, and this should really say something here, that he's trying to be like as nice as possible and like not ruffle any feathers. But he literally says like uh, his quote unquote game. Like that's a that's a quote that he that he uses referring to Tyler's game. This is someone that's reviewing all of RST Tyler's nights out, and he's calling his game quote unquote game. Okay, meaning his game fucking sucks. Right. There's nothing special about his quote unquote game, which I can confirm. Which tons of people around him all the time can confirm. His game has always sucked, and it hasn't improved over these ten years. Okay, like, as I, as I stated in my most popular video on my channel, which I'll link to at the end, um, Tyler was at, like, 50 lake count, like, not that long ago. Okay, and, and Manhor, who used to be good friends with all the different RST instructors, he told me that was one of RST's best-kept secrets, okay, that, that the cult figurehead actually sucks at game, okay? And so this video editor is saying, like, um, it kind of shattered the reality. It did for me as well. Like watching him and Todd get destroyed. I took a boot camp with RST in 2012. In June 2012, I was at 103 lay count. Okay, I figured I would take things to the next level. Just hit 100. Let's go to the the source. The guys from the book, the game. Okay, I watched them get absolutely annihilated. Realized my game is already 100 times better than theirs. And then I've had to watch since then, with them trick everyone else. Hey! Louder. Hey! In the sparkly star shirt. Do it. When I saw people interacting with Owen, you could tell that there was sort of this subordin subordination, I suppose you could say, or people would always defer to him and they wouldn't really, you know, assert their own opinion or anything like that. They were pretty much in awe the whole time of, of watching Owen and observing his every move. Hey! Hey! Due to the girl. Hey! 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 Do it to him. Hey! 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 
Okay, and, and the, this video editor seeing the raw footage hour upon hour of Tyler getting crushed in the clubs, which I'd, I wouldn't wish upon anyone, <laughs> um, had to, got to have his little bubble burst and see that it, he, he makes the points that th there's no real quote-unquote game there, okay, meaning he's just a fucking average normal dude. Okay, and, it, and he also makes some other funny comments, how Tyler has like, you know, his own whole set of problems, even though he acts like this carefree, like fucking, basically like a lunatic, like massively <laughs> over charismatic. Hey, come to the after party, and they're like, no. And in your mind, you're like, well then why did you keep me talking here for three hours? I, I was thinking that he was just gonna be like this self-development god or something like that. And I think sometimes it's unfair for us to put people on a pedestal like anyone on a pedestal like that because when you get to meet them in person and you start to get to know them you realize they're really human and they have their own things that they're working through but the thing is, is that Tyler's like so wrapped up in his delusion that he's like full convinced that this like extreme uh, charisma makes him like the cool guy like like the, the guy that's like the cool guy on campus basically like, oh yeah, man, I'm just like lording the clubs, like every bitch wants my dick. It's like, it's so pathetic and so sad in so many ways, but it's so funny to guys like me, okay? Guys that are like the actual fucking masters in this game. It's, it's hilarious. It's like you're, you're taking a guy that embodies like all the opposites, okay, in terms of his looks and behavior that a woman finds attractive, that a woman finds high value, okay? Except for maybe his money, okay, which he's only built from ripping off a whole bunch of guys that he's tricked. But other than that, he has almost no desirable qualities, okay? And, and, and he tries to trick everyone that this massive charisma is somehow, you know, like making all these bitches wet and want him, okay? But it's just sad and pathetic. <laughs> so he, he's even gone so far <laughs> as to say in, in some of his videos that um, he's up all night fucking, okay? And then he wakes up to a whole bunch of text messages with girls begging him to come get banged out. Okay, there's also the same guy that says he gets approached a couple times a day even when he's not dressed well. Okay. Again, caught this guy in countless lies. People that are close to him have caught him in countless lies. He puts on a full fabrication, a full facade. One of the biggest pieces of shit, probably the biggest piece of shit I've ever met in my entire life. Okay. Second maybe only to Derek Faggot Moneyberg. Okay. Um so, all that being said, I'll roll some of these clips, um, the ones that I haven't already. He's just saying that, you know, his, his charisma, like, even is, is better than any kind of quote-unquote game that he had. And that his game is nothing special, okay? He actually doesn't even have any fucking game. All this shit that he preaches and all this stuff about being the master, he's not qualified to be a, a game coach, okay? He's not even at an advanced level in game, okay? And he, <laughs> he's trying to act like a guru and an expert, okay? He's closer to a beginner level pickup okay the guy, yes the guy that's been in the game guys look how can that be possible he's been in doing this stuff a decade here you have it here you have a guy that's trying to sugarcoat it and not even ruffle feathers and he's like yeah, yeah sorry to say but uh his game fucking blows basically the message here his game fucking blows yeah i'm not saying he doesn't have charisma he has charisma but uh there's not really any quote-unquote game there right there's nothing special about his quote-unquote game it's just a fucking jackass doing a whole bunch of like flashy, fancy shit with charisma behind it, as if that makes any fucking difference. And then picking out a little highlight, highlight reel when, when he's not getting told to fuck off, you know, or, or get the fuck away from me, which is what he's getting the majority of the time. In regard to him being all up all night fucking, okay, that's just full fabrication as well. <laughs> I could just tell so many stories where I caught him directly in lies. He's a fucking clown. Okay, so I just wanted to make this video. Um, Enjoy the clips. I'll link the full video um, that, that was put out by that ex-RSC intern. If you have interest in mastering this game, uh, you can schedule a free 30-minute call with me. Link in the description for that as well. We'll jump on the phone. I'll tell you how I can make you very advanced very quickly. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.
Start to get a four, take over like you've been in war Step two, you get a team Throw two, put in the seam, so with the dream Game plan, you just get in the scheme Just imagine the drills that you get in between Cowards who shout scum.